It is January 1st, it's a new year, and today I wanna to talk about something I've been experiencing for the past two years now. I wanna share my experience, and it's with this little bump on my eyelid, and it's called a chalazian. Um, if you don't know what a chalazian is, it's a little bump that forms on your eyelid from oil blockage on one of your oil glands, and the oil gland is basically what produces your tears and oil and keeps your eyes moisturized. Very similar to a sty, except the sty is like bacterial that kind of causes the, the, the bump to form. And the chalazian, when it first appears, it looks exactly like a sty. It hurts, it's a little red bump, it's inflamed. Over time, the inflammation goes away and the bump just stays there. At least for me, it does. I have not been able to successfully get rid of a chalazian on my own. I've tried the warm compress, I've tried all those little hacks with like apple cider vinegar, massaging, trying massage in the shower. Nothing worked, it still stayed there. And this is my third one that I'm about to get rid of. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and get this removed for the third time. And a little bit of a backstory, the first time I got it, it was on the same exact eyelid, which is this one, and it was more towards the center of my eye, and it was very large. It got pretty big, and basically I tried to do research on my own, and there isn't really a lot. The only options is to do the warm compress or to go and get it surgically removed. So I went months and months, I want to say maybe like six or more months, trying to do warm compresses and trying to get rid of at home with no results, and it actually got larger over time. So I went ahead, made that appointment, saw doc an eye doctor, and he gave me two options. One was either to do the surgical removal, which they do an incision, and then, you know, drain it that way. And then the second option was to get an injection. I went with the injection because he was offering the injection on the spot. And with the surgery, I had to make an appointment and come back. And I just, I just wanted to get rid of it at that point. So I got the injection and my eye was super inflamed for about a day, I wanna say about 24 hours. And then it took about a few weeks for it to, for me to see actual results. And look, over time, it finally went away. So I remember getting that first injection during the summer. And towards the end of the year, while I was still healing, I got another a chalazian towards the corner of my eye on the same eyelid and it was a lot smaller. But I went through the same process where I woke up one day, I had, my eye was inflamed, it was hurting. My other, the other chalazin was still kind of healing at the same time. So I just had like overall inflammation still. And then I went months again, waiting for the first chalazin to heal, which it did completely heal. But now I had the smaller one on the corner of my eye. Made another appointment, saw a different eye doctor this time, explained that this was my second one. And she suggested for me to use eye drops. Since I didn't use the eye drops the first time around, I said, sure, I'll try it, I'll try it. She recommended it because the chalazian was a lot smaller. So I went ahead, she told me to try it for two weeks. I gave it three weeks and I didn't see any improvement, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe because um, I had the chalazian for so many months and that didn't work. Made another appointment, went back, got the injection. And this time I saw results much sooner within that first week after the injection, my chalazian was pretty much gone. I was so happy. I went back to my regular routine of wearing my makeup and got a little careless and I woke up one day with the same exact pain and inflammation and I just knew that it was coming back. So immediately I, start, I started the warm compress. I even used the drops that I had left over. So I started those and I was on them. I was using them consistently for about two to three weeks. It did get smaller compared to what it started at, but it just, it's still there. And it's already been another two months, so I have my appointment set for tomorrow and I'm looking forward to just getting rid of this. And I'm gonna stay consistent with the at-home treatment and wait off on putting on any makeup or anything on my eye, just keeping that area clean. And pray that 2024 I am done with these chalazians on my eye. So for anyone that may be dealing with the same thing, I highly recommend just seeing your eye doctor, seeing an eye specialist, and see what your options are if your at-home treatments are just not working for you. So. Pray for me, hopefully I will be chalazian free this year. So it's the next day and I'm just pulling up to my eye doctor's appointment, hoping that I can just get another injection today. But let's see if any new information is brought up today and I will keep you guys posted and show you guys what my eye looks like if I get the injection today. A few moments later. 
Okay, so I'm back in the car. I just left my appointment and as you can see, I got the injection. So this is what it looks like after getting the injection. It is inflamed, but it's not that bad. Right now it kind of feels like, feels like an itch that I know I can't scratch kind of in a way. Um, feels a little bit uncomfortable. The injection itself is very uncomfortable. So if you don't like needles injections, you might not like this option. But honestly, I only got two options today, which was to continue with the drops that I've already been trying out and I didn't really see results. And then the second option was to get the injection again. So I went that route. This time, the doctor injected me twice. So they did one injection. And then she was like, I'm gonna go get a little bit more steroid. So she injected me again with more. So that's the first time that I get, you know, two in one. And then another thing that was mentioned today, which was never mentioned before, was the possibility of losing pigmentation on your eyelid. Um, it could be a side effect from the steroid. That's never been mentioned before. Again, this is my third time doing this, uh, but I'm not too worried because that hasn't happened to me yet. I pray that it doesn't, um, but it is a side effect that you need to know, and I just found out today. So that's a little sus, but I'm just going to... Hope for the best, continue with my warm compress, and hopefully this year I don't have to come back. So it's been exactly two weeks since I got the injection, and I wanna show you guys what my eye is looking like. And you can't really see much anymore. There's a very, very small bump left, but overall it is working. I'm really happy with the results. And hopefully within another week or so, it should be completely gone. And in the meantime, I've just been staying on top of the care and doing my warm compress. Um, I purchased a few things that I want to share with you guys that have been working for me. The first thing I want to show you guys is this eye mask that I got from Amazon. What I like about this is that it targets one eye at a time. So you put it on like this, it wraps around on the back. I put it on this eye, but you can also use it on the other eye. And you can plug it in and then you can control the heat and the time with this. And it's kind of nice. I use it at night in bed since you kind of have to stay in one place because it's plugged in. but. It's been working for me pretty good. The next thing I wanna show you guys is another mask, but this one you wear on both eyes. And this is just um, overall to prevent either of my eyes getting the bump. So this one is nice because it's like a silk material. It also plugs in, but this one's with the USB cable. And then it also does have the controls to power on, timer and heat control. So I really like this one. And I pretty much just alternate between the two to make sure it doesn't come back. Then the last thing I want to share with you guys is this little eye roller that I found. It's from We Love Eyes. I found it on TikTok. This is what it looks like. It's super tiny. It's a little roller that you can run under hot water or you can also use it cold. But I run this under hot water and then I just use it to massage. So from like left to right or you can kind of push down and massage downward. You can also massage your bottom eyelids if you suffer from any bumps there. And so far I've really been liking it. I also use it in the shower, so when you're taking a hot shower, I run it under the hot water and then massage in the shower as well. Um, so far, I like it. It was a little bit overpriced, but if you're interested, I will link it down below along with the mask. I will link down below. And yeah, that is everything that I want to share with you guys on this topic. Um, if you have any questions for me that I can help answer, please leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.